All right, oh, God, I think that's enough dabs. I think I did enough dabs to finally oh. start this. No, okay, one more dab and we'll start. Or should I stand right here in the middle? Is that cool, cool? Hey there, little grinderinos. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna show you what's in my, my bag. What my bag has in it. What is this? Look at these things I have in my bag. What my bag contains. These are the things in my bag that I fly drones with. I like to make these videos like once or twice a year or when I switch gear up. You know, I use a lot of cool ass gear and I want you to know what cool ass gear that I use. Especially now, because I switched to HD Zero and I got some new stuff in my quad and I'm actually running a new flight controller software. I figured, hey, this is a perfect time for me to do a what's what's in my bag video. Yeah. All right, why don't you come a little bit closer here? Come a little bit closer, and I'll show you. Ah, I'll show you what's in what's in my bag. All right, let's get to this. Let's start with the outside of the bag. These are the drones that I use. This is the Bachrinder Demi Bot frame. I use the Bachrinder. Oh, where am I? I use the Bachrinder V4 motors, the Hobby Wing 20 by 20 stack. Currently, I'm using the HD Zero One Watt VTX, and this one has just a standard 540 60 FPS camera. I only rock two freestyle quads at a time because if you have more than two freestyle quads and they're constantly breaking, you're constantly trying to fix like 10 drones, and that's just too much for all me. So I only have two freestyle quads going at a time. The actual bag that I keep on my shit in this right here is the Torval uh, I think it's Torval what is this it? is a Torval urban bag I got the camouflage one so that way if the cops uh, were to be chasing me I could just throw this in the bushes and they would st ow so today is kind of just like an average we're gonna go to the fucking parking lot and fly some drones day so I just brought what I would bring on a typical day for you all to see Inside my bag, I have the props that I like a lot right now, which are the HQ uh, Juicy J40s. These ones come in pink. I also like to bring my little Rode lav mic, because I can plug it into my camera and then my thing and I can talk, but today I'm using my, this is actually a Rode, this is a Rode wireless mic. I got all this Rode shit. I don't know if it's any good, I just have it. Big shout out to Dan Z for making me these custom Bachrinder microphone holders and um, foamies too. The camera that I use for vlogging is a Canon R10 with a 16 millimeter lens. Now this to me is even overkill. Like I don't need this for the little shitty videos I make, but uh, it's, it's a nice camera. I wanted to be able to get a wider aperture lens. It's 2.4, so there we go. Canon R10 on the vlog cam. Continuing on in the bag, we have my HD Zero goggles. The HD Zero goggles, which I use for TrueRC stubby antennas on, sometimes the patches. But these conveniently fit, they conveniently fit in a GoPro 11 case. Look at that, that's pretty fucking cool. Continuing on in the bag, my radio of choice is a Tango 2. I've tried a lot of other radios and the Tango 2 just, it feels the best with the stock gimbals. I like this radio, it's small, it's compact. It's This is the best radio for me. Fucking airplane radio, which is the big boxy ones. I call them airplane radios to make fun of people that use them. Well, you know, there's really nothing wrong with using a big square radio. It's all really just preference, just for me, where'd I go? Just for me personally, I prefer the little gamepad style ones, so no airplane radio for this guy. The ELRS module that I run on it is the Happy Model Nano Pro module. It's really old, it's one of the first ones. It just, it still works. I'm on like 2.5 and it just still works, so whatever, ELRS is pretty cool. What else is in here? Oh, I got camera butter, uh, I got camera butter ND filters in case the sun ever decides to come out around here. I can put some ND filters on. Oh wait, I want that. Looks like I have one uh, Weebleed FPV. Where'd I go? I have one Weebleed FPV, little tiny boot battery in here with the BT 2.0 connector, because that's my preferred one. I also have this sticker in here for some reason. If you want stickers each and every single month, become a sticker tier Patreon, bot grinder Patreon something rather. You get stickers every month. Vampire got one. Continuing in the bag, I'm pulling out half of the best lanyard in FPV. For some reason, for some reason, lanyard technology has not advanced past the newbie drone yellow lanyard. This is literally the best one that you can get, and I don't know why. I mean, it's really good. You think there'd be more technology, but the newbie drone lanyard is the best one right now. All right, let me shove my fist further into this bag, and we're going to pull out this. This is the Torval Lipo Safe Bag. You should always use a safe bag for your Lipos. Don't just put them in a fucking Kmart bag. Put your Lipos in a Lipo Safe Bag. Some of them are better than others. I don't know if this is, this is, this one's good, sure. Speaking of lipos, people ask me how many do I bring to fly. I bring like this many, this is about eight for an average session coming out like this to hang out with the homies. My lipo of choice being these GNB 1300, GNB 1300 HV batteries. These are like 32 bucks, whatever. You might be able to find them cheaper. These are fantastic, no sag, whatever. I am sponsored by them, so I get them for free. If I wasn't, I would probably buy them though, maybe. Yeah, I'd, I'd buy these over pizzas, to be honest. Inside of my battery bag, I also have a voltage checker. I have a few of them. This one I've had for like 20 years. So this is one that I bring with me because like it won't go away. You got any soup? 
Yeah. To power my HD Zero goggles, I just use this little 4S battery right here with this fucking Extendo. Where'd the Extendo go? With this Extendo that I don't, I think this came with the goggles, but fuck a battery on your head. I do not, let's fix this. I personally don't like the battery on the head deal, so I, I've been using these things for freaking ever, and it's nice to see companies including them uh, with goggles now. I think that's it. Oh, what I have fucking... For some reason, I have uh, patchouli in here. I usually don't care. Oh, this was probably on my shelf and fell into my bag. I do like wearing patchouli because I'm a filthy fucking hippie, but I usually don't carry it around in my FPV bag. This is kind of just a bonus. Oh, shit. Speaking of bonus, this, I have it. Watch. Wait till this comes up. Keep watching this for a little bit, and I'll show you this thing that's also in my bag today. I think the microphone was under my arm the whole time. It has a little hooky on it. You can hook it. If you're like me and you don't like the Gorilla Pods, you can just get one of these, the Manthus Pod. They do a whole lot of cool stuff. Check them out. Look them up on the internet. There's probably reviews and shit. This is a tripod that I use for my camera just because it's what they had at Best Buy. I don't know if it's good or not. It's some, what the fuck was that? <laughs> as far as cameras, I'm onto the Hero 11 just because I really like the way that it looks. I use GoPro Labs 120 megabits. And these are my settings right here that I use on my 11 for like a typical day. And that is everything that is in my bag that I bring for a typical day. Wait, there's also this shit. This is a prop wrench that I've been using for like four years. I think I got it in a quad, I remember quad box was a thing. I got this from quad box and I've been using it ever since. It's a damn good, damn good old squishy handle driver. You probably can't find it anymore. So that is everything that I bring in my bag for a typical day of flying. Thank God that's over with. Now we can go rip and I'm gonna show you one of the sketchy, here it is. I'm gonna show you one of the sketchiest products I've received. I'm gonna show you one of the sketchiest products I've received to review in a long time. This is for an electric skateboard. This is a glove that makes you go fast and you control your skateboard with a glove instead of a fucking controller. Terrifying, horrible spot to do it. Let's get some packs in and then I'll show you how I die in the skateboard today. Hey, no Mexico, if you're trying to die and pick your poison, I got five ways. Slapped him with his nine because he was looking at me sideways. I put it just to violate these apps. I'm about to not lay. I partners doing like some others waiting on their trial days. If you're trying to die and pick your poison, I got five ways. Slapped him with his nine because he was looking at me sideways. I put it just to violate these apps. I'm about to not lay. I partners doing like some others waiting on their trial days. I just woke up, pissed as fuck, my let my gun off. This life from sun to sun, and I ain't got no time to run off. A lot of times people complain when I show myself smoking weed in my videos. <laughs> and honestly, it's none of your fucking business. All right, so that was a dive gap. I also got stuck in a tree. So I did those dives real consecutively and it looks super cool, but here's what it actually looks like in real life when I try to do the top gap. Yeah, it took me a minute. It's gonna take everybody a minute. Don't believe everything. Don't believe anything you see on TV. Everything's a lie. Everything is cake. All right, here we go. The other thing that I have in my bag today is this fucking super sweet glove. The like this company, Possway, Possway Skateboards. Remember they sent me this e-board? I made like a video about it. Maybe I didn't. I think I did. They sent me this glove. So you know, electric skateboards, you use your little controller thingy. This glove is the controller, and the way it works is you have these magnets in here, right? And you go like. Burr, burr. See? You do that. Oh, no, it keeps going. That is not. No, that is not safe, Pauseway. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just try it. Just try it. Just try it? Oh, God, this is so fucking dangerous. Watch. Ah. And then if you just, here, I'm going to stand in front of it. If you just let go, it goes like full fucking speed. This is not cyberpunk, dude. This is dangerous. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna get back on full speed. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. It falls out of the little tracks. It stops very abruptly. Man, I don't know. This is like kind of dangerous, I believe. Let's just open her up. Let's open her up, huh? Let's see what you can do. Full effing speed, bro. Oh, I can't kick flip on this. Let's try to slow down. Let's try to slow down. It's not slowing down. It's not slowing down. Okay, it's slowing down. Yeah. Oh, this is so dumb. I fucking hate this stupid thing. All right, this is it. Full speed. Ah. Ah. It's not breaking good. It's not breaking good. Oh my god. I did it. Yay, I did it. Oh fuck. Mechanical bowls like see how long you can stand on it. 
Okay, so my review, now here's a review from a 42-year-old man. This is fucking terrifying and nobody should ever be doing this. You should just control it with a normal-ass controller. Now, if you're not as fragile as me, if maybe you could take a few hits and you can actually operate this thing. It's kind of cool. I'll put a link below. I do want to say a huge, huge shout-out to Pauseway for sending me the skateboarding and sending me this little glove. Like, that was definitely fun. I'm going to screw with this some more, but I'm kind of scared of, like, fucking hurting myself, you know what I mean? I guess you could always luge style it like that. That actually, yeah. I'm gonna get a lawn chair and I'm gonna duct tape it to the skateboard and then, then we have a solution. All right, that's enough scary skateboard. It's time to rip some more quads, but we're actually gonna move to another spot. This spot's pretty cool, but we see a possible dive gap and maybe a parking garage. So let's go rip that shit. Let's see them yo's, bro. Yo, look at that, yo. Oh. Yo. Bro, yo! Okay, so Vampire has a yo-yo. That's pretty cool. This is my last pack of the day. Some people don't like to say last pack because it's like a curse or whatever. I could give a fuck less. Hey, I'm flying my last drone battery pack. To fucking smite me now or whatever. <laughs> Windshield pointed out there's a bunch of cool rails here. And he's like, man, if we could skate, we could do these rails. And I was like, damn, that's true. But you know what? I have my drone. So I'm going to spend my entire last pack trying to grind these rails. <laughs> Fuck drones, this is a new thing. Competitive. We're all yo-yoers now. Oh shit, hang on. We're yo-yoers now. See? Look at us. We're so good. Here we go. The world's first yo-yo rail grind. Oh! Yes. All right, 